Now, it's an app which could potentially tell you everything you need to know about a consumer item, anything from your favourite drink to the latest pair of trainers. Blipper has linked up with some of the world's leading brands. It's now attracted millions of pounds of investment and is the latest digital success story to originate here in London. Here's Mark Ashdown. Welcome to the world of Blipper. Can I point the phone uh, at the player's face? In three-dimensional space, the players come out. In simple terms, it's a web browser on your phone. You point it at almost anything, and stuff might happen. <laughs> I think it's a surfing game. I think. From promos and games on soft drinks and breakfast cereals to a piece of fruit, it can offer nutritional advice and recipes. If you didn't know what it was, it's it apple. Tells you how on apple. Yeah, is. it brings the world to life, and we see so many things in the world which drives our curiosity. And we cannot explain them with words on a typical search engine. You just point to your phone uh, and it tells you what it is or it gives you an amazing content experience. And right now it's hot, named 16th in the global list of small players making big waves in the tech world. It's a major, major communication medium and it's, it's almost bringing us closer to being human. It's making typing redundant. It's just making something we were always born to do, look at stuff. It's spinning recipes for you. So and it's another it's London amazing. app success. I think uh, London's been a great city. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of the greatest talent pools in the world. And to really drive world-changing ideas, I would say actually London is a great place to start these days. All this started with a joke over a £20 note in a pub in Surrey. Wouldn't it be funny, he said, if the Queen came to life? Now, there appears no limits. There is no industry we're not touching, like education and blipper is amazing. I mean, I'm talking about brands, but we are making uh, kids realize that when you blip your homework and when you blip things, your engagement levels are 65% higher. There is a line that you think where you shouldn't be pushing stuff too much on people. It should and always be voluntary. Yeah, it has to be voluntary. I believe that, in general, people shouldn't be pushed to <clears throat> do anything. Uh, it should be their choice. I was going to tell you, yeah. you're appearing tonight on BBC <laughs> And with a £45 million investment secured to expand, there will soon be many more choices out there to blip. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News. Well, we can talk now to Russ Shaw, who's the founder of a group which campaigns on behalf of London's technology industry, Tech London Advocate. Welcome to the programme, Russ. Thank you. 